Hi everybody, it's Carolyn, and today it's time for Friday Flips and Flops. So let's get started. This week, talk about my eyes. Um, you know, because you saw those in Mondays, and so I love this palette. It's the Tarte Magnificent Palette, all in the mattes. And I looked um, before I did the video, and it was available at Ulta. And then I looked later this week, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So, I know it was limited edition, so I don't know. I guess they're all gone now, so I'm not sure. But, okay. I was watching... One of my dogs scratching on the door. I was watching Miss Lola Lynn. Um, and I'll link the video below. She did a look using the Color Tattoo and Caramel Cool. And it's one of the new limited edition ones. So that's what it looks like there. Let me swatch it on my hand. It's beautiful color. It's just gorgeous. Um, and she did this I look that is so pretty. And um, she does some really pretty eye looks. She's just so darn cute. Um, she she had, I mean, I used it today, but I mean, the one she did, like I said, it's just beautiful. I'll put it on. Anyway, I used that today all over my lid, and then I pulled out my just my little Wet n Wild singles. The Nutty I used in the crease, which is just, you know, it's a great crease color. So I used that, and then the, I think this one's called Brulee, and I just used that on my brow bone. And then she had used some different things with doing her look. Some, I think she had some pigments and stuff. So I don't, I don't have any of those because, you know, it's just not something I would probably ever use. But I did remember I had this little eyeshadow that I'd gotten in an Ipsy bag, I think, from BH Cosmetics. It's in the color Sun. And it's just a little baked eyeshadow. So I just took a little bit of that. And I just put that, and you can see it's so close with that color. I just kind of pressed just a little bit of that right on the eyeball part. So I thought it came out pretty good. So, anyway, love that. And this week for my blushes, I've been using the NARS Lovejoy, which this... No, this, it just doesn't do it any justice at all in here. I mean, it's just like, eh, <laughs> kind of looks, you know, eh. But on, which my hand is still wet, that's not good. Let's try it again. Wipe my hand off, wipe it on my pants. <laughs> all right, here it is. Let's do this one more time. That's the love joy. Oh, come on. You know, it's still, it just, when you put it on though, it is just so pretty. I just really enjoy it. And then the other one I've been using this week is my Hourglass, and this one is in Luminous Flush. I like that one with the Tarte palette too. And I heard that one. It's right there. Okay. Then, for my lips this week, I had gotten this new um, It Cosmetics. It's um, the Lip Flush, I think is what it's called. And this is in the color Je ne sais quoi. It's just, you know, clear looking, kind of pinky looking, but it's got all this wonderful vitamin E and stuff in it, so it just feels so darn good on your lips. And then it changes to me, to match your body chemistry, I suppose. And for me, it gives me quite a, a dark pink, so I like that. 
The lipstick I have on today is called Sugared Almond. It's a Maybelline. And it's just a very light nude. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. It's so, so light. But with my eyes, you know, having all that kind of coppery, I didn't want to put much. Let's see, it's just, you know, it's it's so light. But it's yeah, I like it though. And then I've been putting this um, Milani over top of it in nude. What is this? Nude Touch. One of the new little glosses. Just to give it a little more shine. And so I like that little comb over something just really light. Alright, so that's that. The other one is in... Oh, shoot. This is in Ravishing Rose. It's from the nude collection from Maybelline. And it looks like this. It's beautiful pink. And then to top that, I've been using the little Maybelline elixirs. That's so baby, baby pink. And this is in the color. It's so tiny. Um, perpetual petal. Is that what it is? No. I have one called perpetual. This looks like it's polished petal or something. It's really hard to see it. Okay, and it's just a little light pink and it looks really pretty over it. And there it is right here. So that has been my lips this week. And for my nails. I know so many of you have asked me about this color and I, I do love it. Um, it's one of my favorites. And this is one of the sinful colors that I picked up when they were 99 cents. So it was it's even better. <laughs> And this is in the color Island Coral. Not pretty. So I've really enjoyed that. This one I have on today, I am so not, this is so out of my comfort um, as far as nail. I love the blues and I've bought several of the blues, but I haven't gotten comfortable with wearing them. They just are so, wow. So this one is Pacific blue. Now I do love, I love Sally Hansen. Um, this is Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This formula, I will tell you, I do have several of this kind like this in that uh, Extreme Wear. They hold up because I have had this on four days and there's not a chip, not anything. It's just as shiny as pretty as when I put it on. So, um, I love the wear of it. I'm just not so loving the color yet. Um, it's very blue. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not so sure how much you'll see that one on me. I don't know. Maybe I'll get, I've got some other ones that are dark blue and I'll put them on and I'm like, eh, I'm not so sure. So, okay, and let's see, do I have a flop this week? do not. Yay! I don't have a flop. So, that's my flips and no flop for this week. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Sunday and announce the uh, winners of the giveaway. And so, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.